This is Twit. All right, Geek says, what would you recommend for a 500 gigabyte SSD for my home desktop? It will be my boot drive that I really need to replace. It's a Dell Studio XPS 435MT with an i7 CPU and 24 gigs of RAM. I need to stay under $200. Under $200 for a 500 gig SSD is not impossible anymore. Not right? impossible. It used to be crazy yeah. impossible. Yeah. Like last year, that was impossible. Right. Now, no, you've it's got choices. Changed. You've yep. got choices. But before we get to the the, the realistic choices. I wanted to show off some of my favorites. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Uh, now let let's uh, let's take a look at this one first. This is kind of nice <laughs> if you go to the overhead. This is the Predator. You've seen this on the show before. This is one of my favorites. I've actually got what three or four of these things currently in uh, in operation. Uh, th this is actually just an M.2 part uh, installed on this board. Now for this, uh, you do require an M.2 PCIe. Uh, th by four, so revision three by four, uh, because this will do 1,400 megabytes per second read and 1,000 megabytes per second write. Now, to put wow. that in perspective, if you've got a hard drive in your computer, that will maybe do 40 megabytes per second read and like 25 <laughs> megabytes per second write. So, what is the industry? What is the uh, the uh, the task? The industry that benefits most from something like this? Oh, uh, uh, video or, editing. Or, so, okay, yeah, that's kind of yeah, what I was thinking. Yeah, absolutely, like full 4K resolution yeah, video editing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, for a 480 gigabyte version of that, that's yeah. well, six hundred dollars. Yep, that doesn't work. That's not going to work. And not only that, uh, I know his desktop because I had his desktop when I was in in uh, DC. The Dell Studio XPS 435 MT, good box. But the PCI slots in it are not revision three, so you wouldn't even be able to get the full speed of this. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's go to something even more insane, something that he really couldn't do. This is a terabyte. This is a terabyte of SSD goodness. This is the Kingdom, Kingston DCP-1000. Uh, now, Jason, so yeah. that other one was pretty good. You know, a, a 1,400 megabytes per second read, 1,000 megabytes per second write. This thing does 6,800 megabytes per second read, 5,000 megabytes per second write. Uh, it does one million IOPS. Now, this is not a consumer board, even though I have one in my PC because I'm crazy. Uh, this is really designed for data centers. This this is multiple M.2 cards that have been put together in a performance RAID. Mm -hmm. uh, but it it all it uses a special switching fabric which does not add any latency. I know it sounds magic, but it totally works. Um, one problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this requires eight. PCI uh, 3.0 lanes that you're not going to get it on that MT. Yeah, probably not. Also, a little bit out of his price range. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's a thousand now, bucks. Now I see the price. Yeah. Okay, one thousand fifty-three ninety-nine to be yeah. specific. But now that we've gotten all the dreamy stuff out of the way, let's talk about what's more <laughs> realistic. Let's actually let's, give you something you can actually. Yeah, get. let's let's actually answer the question rather than just <laughs> it's kind of salivating Dream. over here. I will say, uh, a year ago, that's the same Mac Pro that I, that I was yep. talking about. Um, I'm always looking to stretch it, you know, because I, I don't want to have to upgrade unless I absolutely have to. I think I'm getting close to there. So I, I uh, replaced all the, the, the regular drives with SSDs. It was not that expensive. No. And I was able to throw a bunch of terabyte SSDs in there. Uh, and and it's, isn't it crazy much. how much it's faster crazy. it becomes? Yeah. Oh, just, and it, just, I mean, uh, it's it's night and day. Yeah. You know, booting up used to be such an annoyance with that computer, and now it, it just yeah. takes seconds. It really uh, does make that much of a difference. Quick note on, on, on Jason's idea of upgrading, because this, again, it is an older desktop. The 435 MT is a little bit older. Uh, it is actually limited to SATA Revision 2, not SATA Revision 3. The difference is oh, SATA okay. Revision 2 runs at 3 gigabits per second. SATA Revision 3 runs at 6 gigabits per second. Why is that important? Let me explain. All of the newer SSDs can actually saturate the SATA Revision 2 bus. They, they transfer data faster than that bus can handle. So if you get a SATA 3 drive SSD and you put it into a SATA 2 computer, it just means that it will work, but it's not going to be running as fast as it possibly could because you're mm. going to saturate the bus before the, the drive hits its, its limit. Right? So even the cheapest SSD right now is going to be way faster than your computer can handle. Just know that. Just know that. Okay, so let's take a look at the super budget version. This right here, I kind of like this. This is the Kingston A400. It's a 480 gigabyte drive. This one's going to run you 150 bucks. So that is great. That is super, super uh, economical. Now, it, again, it's 500 megabytes per second read. It's 450 megabytes per second write. 
But this is a grab bag of memory. In fact, the representative, he told me, you understand the reason why we can get this price point so low is we just kind of take flash parts from everywhere. Mm. Doesn't mean it's unreliable, it just doesn't mean everything's matched. So there might be variances from one unit to the next. Uh, but again, that's how they get the price so low. How uh, much of a variance are you looking at? Like, yeah, is that anything that anyone r would really notice? If for were, this computer, because yeah. he's not going to be able to use it at its max, yeah. he won't notice it at all. Right. So a hundred. If we've got a link for that, a hundred and fifty bucks, and you've got yourself half a terabyte of storage. That's not bad. Nice. That's, that's actually pretty good. Very good. Uh, now, let's go one step up. My one step up from that A four hundred would be something like this. This is the UV four hundred. This will do, uh, what is it, 550 megabytes per second read, 500 megabytes per second write. Again, faster than this, but since I'm not going to be able to tap anywhere near the potential of either over this desktop, the reason why I would get this is because I was thinking, you know what, when I replace my desktop eventually, you I can pop it out. I can pop, pop it, it out. In again. Pop it in, it'd be all good. This yeah. is really close to the maximum of the SATA Revision 3 bus. Now, this is more, more reliable. These are actually using matched memory parts. So unlike the, uh, the A400, it's not the grab bag. You're not going to see great variances in performance between units. Um, and I kind of trust it more. And that's only 170 bucks. If you go to the link to there, $20 more is going to give you arguably a, a more reliable product, uh, which is kind of good, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, this, this right here, though, this is a kit, right? So that you can... Just that's an upgrade have, kit, yeah. Okay, so this yeah. is... All right. Yeah, it's cool. a, little, yeah, a little different. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, it's not just all Kingston. There's actually a Samsung drive that I really like. Super reliable, not that expensive. It's the Samsung, Samsung 850 Evo, the 500 gigabyte version. We've got a link for this. This is 150 bucks. And if you're not... I, I'm in a Kingston, and I kind of like to keep all my storage in the same vendor. Uh, just because that's my personal preference. Mm -hmm. But if you're in the Samsung camp, this is a great drive. It's not their fastest, but again, you're not going to be able to use their fastest. 540 megabytes per second read, 520 megabytes per second write. That's, that's pretty decent. Right on. Okay. One last bit, and you've seen me use this before. This. This is the Savage. This is the HyperX. It's also a Kingston <laughs> product. Uh, this is the 240 version, but the 500, uh, the 480 gigabyte version of this costs 240 bucks, and it does actually come. Well, let me make sure I don't have the serial number there, because people can use that. Mm. <laughs> I know people are going to be able to sketch. This thing is crazy fast. 560 megabytes per second read, 530 megabytes per second write. This absolutely will max out your SATA Revision 3 bus. I also like the fact that it comes with all the tools that you're going to need to install. Um, I, I've taken out the case, but also a little set, uh, USB 3.0 case. I love this kit. I really love this kit. And I, if, if I was thinking future upgrade, this would probably be the one that I would want because I can pop this out of my old desktop put it in my new desktop and it will be still crazy fast. Yeah, you're paying a little bit more upfront to make sure that you're future proof when oh, you move really? to the next thing. Now, I will point out one very important thing right now. Yeah. What month is it? Oh, I don't know. It might be November. November. What happens at the end of November? Uh, oh, Black Friday. Yes, and Black Friday is a very good time to pick up SSDs, a very good time to pick up a lot of this type of stuff. So I would say if you're this close, maybe hold off, have these ver these uh, models mm -hmm. set aside, and just wait for Black Friday. You yeah. don't have to wait and wait and wait through Christmas or whatever. I suppose you can if time is no don't. issue. Uh, but, you know, Black Friday, a lot of stuff goes on sale, and you're almost guaranteed, I would guess, to see some of this hit Amazon or whatever other sites and get a nice 20 or 30 bucks shaved off of it. Now, now do you still do Black Friday where you wait in line at the store? Or is no! It, yeah, it's all online, right? Heck no, I don't wait in line for anything. Yeah.